Okay, new definition. For every integer in, define the element b sub n by b sub n is the three-point set containing the integers n minus 1, n, and n plus 1, if n is even, and is the one-point set, or the singleton set, containing the point n, if n is odd. Then, the collection script B, consisting of all these elements, generates a topology on the integers called the digital line topology. So we will now show that this collection script B satisfies the two conditions in the definition for a topology generated by a basis. So first, clearly, for every integer n, there exists an element, b sub n, in the collection script b, such that the integer n is in this element, which is a subset of the entire set of integers. That is, for every integer, there is at least one basis element containing it. Second, if the intersection of two uh, elements b sub n, m and b sub n, is not empty, then at least one, well, four distinct integers, m and n, then at least one of these integers is even let's choose the integer m to be even so that the element b sub m is the three-point set containing the integers m minus 1, which is odd, m and m plus 1. So the even integer m and the two odd integers m minus 1 and m plus 1. So suppose that the integer n is odd so that the element b sub n is the singleton set containing the point n. Then, if the intersection of b sub m and b sub n is not empty, then this implies that n is either the odd integer m minus 1, or is the odd integer m plus 1. In either case, if the element n is in the intersection of b sub m and b sub n, then there exists the element b sub n in the collection script b such that the integer n is in this element, which is a subset of the intersection of b sub m with b sub n. So now suppose 
that the integer n is also even. So that the element b sub n is 3 point set, n minus 1, n, and n plus 1. So let the element k be in the intersection of b sub m and b sub n. Then the element k is either the odd integer n minus 1, which would be the same as the integer odd integer m plus 1. Notice that in this case, the integer n is 2 plus the integer m, or the integer k is n plus 1, which is the same as the integer m minus 1. Notice that in this case, the uh, integer n is 2 less than the integer m. So the element b sub k is the singleton set containing this point k, which once again is either the integer n minus 1, which is the same as the integer m plus 1, or is the integer n plus 1, which is the same as the integer m minus 1. In either case, if the element k is in the intersection of b sub m and b sub n, then there exists the element b sub k in the collection script b, such that the point k is in this element, which is a subset of the intersection of b sub m and b sub n. So the second condition is satisfied. And so the digital topology on the set of integers is now defined to be all subsets of the integers such that or where for every integer in that subset there exists an element b sub n in the collection script b such that that integer is in this element b sub n which is a subset of the given set u. And so uh, the collection script b is a basis for this topology. It was defined to be so. And the space consisting of the integers together with the digital line topology is called the digital line. So let's begin to look at some of the properties of the digital line. So let the complement of the even integers, that is the odd integers, be denoted by script O. Then the set of all odd integers, script O, is dense in the digital line. So proof. Notice that every basis element, b sub n, contains at least one odd integer. So every non-empty open subset u of the integers, which is a union of some basis elements, contains at least one odd integer. That is, for every non-empty 
open subset u of the integers, the intersection of that non-empty non open subset with the odd integers is not empty, and hence the set of odd integers is dense in the digital line. So next we will show that the digital line is separable proof we will show that the dense subset of odd integers is countable so let phi be a map from the set of positive integers into the set of odd integers and let this map be defined by phi of n is negative n if n is odd and n minus 1 if n is even. So notice that the odd positive integers are mapped onto the negative odd integers and that the even positive integers are mapped onto the positive odd integers. So we have that for every odd integer that is positive there exists the integer n in the set of even positive integers such that the odd integer m, the positive odd integer m, is n minus 1. Similarly, for every odd integer that is negative there exists an integer in the set of odd positive or rather odd even integers such that the integer m is equal to negative n and so for every odd integer there exists an integer in the set of positive integers such that the odd integer m is equal to phi of n. And hence the function phi is surjective. So suppose that phi of m is equal to phi of n, then the positive integers m and n are either both even or both odd. So suppose that the positive integers m and n are both even, then phi of m equal to phi of n implies that m minus 1 is equal to n minus 1. And so m is equal to n. So now suppose that the positive integers m and n 
are both odd. Then, phi of m equal to phi of n implies that negative m is equal to negative n, and so m is equal to n. And so in either case, if phi of m is equal to phi of n, then m is equal to n, and hence the function phi is injective, and thus the function phi from the set of positive integers into the set of odd integers is a bijection. And so the set of odd integers is countably infinite. And hence the odd integers, the set of odd integers is countable. And so as the digital line contains a countable dense subset, it is separable. So next, let the set of even integers be denoted by script E. Then the set of all even in integers is nowhere dense. In the digital line, proof. Since the set of all odd integers is dense, and the set of all integers is the union of all singletons containing the element n, m rather, where m is odd, it is a union of uh, an arbitrary union of open sets, and hence is open and so the complement of the set of odd integers which is the set of even integers is nowhere dense in the digital line. Alright so we'll end here for today next time we will continue to look at uh, some of the properties of the digital line as well as some uh, general properties of a basis. So I hope you have enjoyed the seventh lecture. Thanks for watching.